Tonight, former President Trump casting his primary ballot in Florida, doubling down on remarks Democrats are slamming as anti-Semitic. The Democrats have been very, very opposed to Jewish people, that's true, and to Israel. All you have to do is look at Senator Schumer. What he did with Israel is a disgrace. After top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer blasted Mr. Trump earlier today. The former president's comments were utterly disgusting and a textbook example of the kind of anti-Semitism facing Jews, pushing the dangerous anti-Semitism trope of dual loyalty. The firestorm began overnight when Mr. Trump was asked about Schumer's recent rebuke of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who Schumer said should be replaced in new elections. Why do the Democrats hate Bibi Netanyahu? I actually think they hate Israel. Mr. Trump saying Democrats are being swayed by protests over President Biden's policy on Gaza. Even I am amazed at how many people are in those marches. And guys like Schumer see that. And to him, it's votes. I think it's votes more than anything else. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion. They hate everything about Israel. And they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel will be destroyed. The remarks quickly condemned by the Anti-Defamation League, whose CEO called them defamatory and patently false. The Biden campaign saying, quote, the only person who should be ashamed here is Donald Trump. The former president touts his pro-Israel record, including moving the U.S. embassy to Jerusalem and helping the country forge peace deals with some of its Arab neighbors. President Biden has criticized Israel's actions in its war against Hamas, including the impact on civilians, something Mr. Trump has largely avoided, while offering few substantive policy differences. Well, I think you have to finish it up and do it quickly and get back to the world of, of peace. Garrett, we're also learning more tonight about that recent phone call between President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu. That's right, Lester. Two U.S. officials tell NBC News the conversation between the two was intense, constructive, and very candid. Netanyahu brought up that criticism from Senator Schumer, and the president, who has publicly praised Schumer's speech, told Netanyahu the White House is not looking to oust him from power. Lester? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.